Hey everyone, it's Rick. Good morning. It's Saturday morning in Seattle. I'm off today, actually. Look look at the temperature out there today. 16 degrees. So I thought I'd do a video today because I'll probably be indoors all day. I'm just going to do some clouds for you. A cumulus clouds or something real easy. I just have Payne's Gray ultramarine blue white and I already mixed a little bit of paints gray and white to get this gray this acrylic paint uh, and I just have fresh water over here clean water so I don't contaminate it with uh, any green let's uh, I'm just gonna put gray in the sky right now this is acrylic paint. Let's just put some gray up here. I'll show you a few tricks. This doesn't have to be heavy. You can uh, kind of put it on very lightly. Like it's just the underpaint if you want. Don't come up here and like try and fill it in perfect like this just just fill in the canvas like this this is just a quick demonstration on some clouds that you can do and I'm going to show you a brush I got it's called uh, a stencil brush it's pretty good for making uh, a cumulus clouds you know those ones that are like really fluffy all right let me bring the sky down to about here. <clears throat> Very good. I'm going to put a, a quick uh, mountain top in here so we got some kind of uh, kind of something to look at where the clouds are above, you know what I mean? Some kind of landscape down here. Just a few mountain tops in here. And uh, then we'll start the clouds. Trying to let that dry a little bit up there. Put some mountains down here. So yeah, I figure that it's Saturday today. Uh... I thought I'd do a few videos on uh, different types of clouds. Like acrylic, acrylic paints a little more difficult uh, than oil. Because oil, man, you can really make those clouds look uh, pretty, pretty natural. I think there's an oil painting over there on the left that I did. Yeah. Where you can, the clouds really come out good with oil paint. So acrylic, it's a little different. Uh, but we'll give it a try. Alright, there's our fake mountains right now. Just to give us some perspective with clouds up there. I'm going to show you this stencil brush. Well, it's kind of hard. <laughs> Let me uh, dip it in the water and loosen up the bristles a little bit. I'll show you this big one first. I may end up having to use a smaller one. Here's a, a stencil brush. See how it's uh, the bristles are more in a circle? And I'm going to show you how to... Uh, Put some clouds up there. There we go. Here's a smaller one for this size of canvas. This is a 10 by 20. I just turned it up to show you. I'm just going to do a few clouds here. Now, with this style, uh, I do have blue here, but I'm going to show you where I, I put the blue in last. Uh, going to be kind of cool. 
So here's my white. Let's let's take a little bit of the white over here. And now you could either put I want to put either gray in it or a little blue, okay? I think I'm going to take a little bit of this gray uh, and just put it into the white here. Because I don't want the clouds to be bright white yet because we're going to hide we're going to highlight the clouds once they're done. So let's we'll create the initial clouds with a some white that has a little gray in it. I'm thinking we might be able to pop a little just a touch of blue in there. I mean, just a small amount of blue. Not a lot. There we go. So you see the difference between uh, this one and that one. We'll use this to highlight the top of the clouds. All right, so what we're going to do I'm not really concerned about the placement of these clouds, but when you when you do a, a painting, you do kind of want them uh, where it looks like they're going off into the distance, you know, if these mountains are far away. These mountains look pretty close to me, so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to create some cool clouds, and I'm not worried about, you know, the depth right now. So, so just take a, the stencil brush and just load it up like this by just pressing into the paint. Just filling it up. Doesn't have to be a lot because uh, we're going to wipe some of it off. Keep a paper towel on your hand. Now, let's. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, these brushes you can get like at Michael's, okay? They have them. They're not in the brush aisle. You got to go to like where they have all the stencils and stuff. And it comes in like a three-pack. You get a large, medium, and a small. So just with this stencil brush, I'm going to make some accumulus clouds, okay? Those are the poofy ones. So I'm going to start right here in the middle, above the mountain, and touch with my brush. And I'm just I'm concentrating on the top part of the cloud right now, pretending like that's the top part of it okay the top part of the cloud only just touching it up like that okay now the reason this is acrylic so I could say let's do another one real quick but that might dry on us so wipe your brush off that's why I say at the beginning don't you don't have to put too much on it first now come underneath it and let's start Pulling that paint down a little bit and shaping that cloud with your brush. Just you can hold your canvas and stamp the paint underneath and get it to blend into the gray sky a little bit. And just start bringing it down a little bit. Bring the color down. You can actually take your brush and Pull it down a little like this, see? Blend the color into the gray sky. Leave the top part pretty dominant, okay? You almost get it to blend into the sky. You see that? And you almost get you almost get the uh, appearance of uh, we're gonna make them look more round when we're done, but let's get some more paint. That's why I used a darker color, because then when we go to put the highlights on it with the bright white, it shows up better. All right, let's grab a little more paint and do another one. Just stamp your brush in there. It doesn't have to be a lot, okay? Now let's come with one maybe a little bit below there, so it looks like 
they're being uh, layered a little bit. Start right about there. Let's make the top of a cloud here. I like bringing them up and to the side a little bit like that. Wipe your brush off and underneath again the same thing. You can either stamp it or just pull it. But get it to blend into the uh, the gray a little bit. You can actually pull your brush. The reason I'm using a stencil brush is to try and get this uh, roundness up on top. You know, that, that's good enough. Okay, let's do another one above those now. Now, once you get good enough, you won't you won't have to use this stencil brush anymore. You'll be able to use a, a regular acrylic uh, uh, filbert brush or even a flat brush. But once you get the technique down, you won't have to use this stencil brush anymore. Let's. Uh, Get some more paint and do another one. Now when you do this, you don't have to wet the brush anymore because we want the paint to be kind of heavy. We don't want it wet, okay? Let's run one from, uh, let's run one from the side here, kind of up high. Just concentrate on the top part of the cloud and we'll bring it up. And then maybe to about right there. Now, same thing. Uh, wipe your brush off. And let's start making it a uh, blended in the bottom into the gray a little bit. Try and shape the cloud a little bit. actually like pull it down if you want pull color down in there perfect look at that cloud see how easy now acrylic paint <laughs> it's a little difficult uh, if this was oil paint we could blend that and make it really look soft but the acrylic paint, it dries so fast, you don't have to have time to do it. So you, I got blender brushes here, but I mean, you have to be really quick. But this is just a quick way I'm showing you uh, how to uh, make some cool clouds for your uh, painting. Let's do another one, and then we're going to highlight these, okay? I want to kind of bring one across here so they they kind of look layered but I'm not really concerned about that right now maybe start one behind here let's start one right here and bring it to the side so above this other one you're going to stamp the top of your brush let's bring it up by that other one and just to the side there. Now wipe your brush off and let's start bringing the color down a little bit. Doesn't have to be a lot of it because I mean we got uh, the reason why I made a gray sky is so that maybe these clouds will get incorporated into the gray. That's good enough. All right, so there we got we got a, a a a sky full of color now, right? Now there's there's more you can do. There's more you can do. Uh, <clears throat> let's try uh, rinsing the brush off. Clean that same brush. You don't have to use the same brush. Uh, because you might want to get more detail now. And uh, I 
I do a little bit with both. So let's clean that same brush off. And I'm going to grab, now I'm going to grab white right out of the tube, okay? Let's move a little bit over. Uh, I'm going to move a little bit of the bright white over here. Because I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do another video after this with the same colors. But all right, I'm gonna grab a little white on this stencil stencil brush. This is really bright white now. So now you want to give these clouds a little dimension, right? Uh, let's start with this round one right here. You see the top of the cloud here? Uh, Let's just touch some color up there. Just a little bit of white, okay? Not much. Now, the, the brush is loaded with white. And let's highlight uh, some of the tops with uh, the bright white. Okay. Now, you notice here I went a little more to the left and broke away from the curve. Uh, let me get some more. So this one here at the bottom, I'm going to actually bring it across to here a little bit. And I'm not going to follow the curve because I want to make this one at the bottom uh, its own cloud. See that? I kind of brought it in front of that one there. All right. And like I said, you don't have to you don't have to stick with this brush because uh, it is kind of bulky. But just get a little bit of white now and touch it just on the top parts right now, just to get some cloud uh, separation. Just a little bit, okay? Don't overdo it. Just like that. Don't do them all. Don't do them all. Uh, now, that's good enough. If I was selling this painting and it was this scene right here, I would be happy with those clouds. But there's still more you can do. There's more you can do. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to take my uh, ultramarine blue here. I don't know if you know ultramarine blue. It's look at how bright that is. It's pretty bright blue. You see that? And I don't ever I don't ever use the paint right out of the tube because it's it's made to mix okay so let's grab a little bit of uh this white that we used for the clouds it's kind of get the grayish blue and let's uh, lighten it up just a little to a lighter blue going to have to be more than that. I'm going to grab some white, titanium white. I really want it to be a light blue. So I'll just have to keep lightening up the uh, color until I get to the blue I want. See the difference? between out of the tube and with the little white in there. All right, that's good enough. All right, now I'm going to grab a, a soft uh, filbert brush and make sure it's clean. I'm going to wet it a little bit. Make sure the bristles are working correctly. Make sure there's no paint in there they're soft okay very good now let's let's put a little blue sky up in here 
grab a little bit of this blue on your filbert brush just a little and let's let's put a little blue where do you think the sky would be blue in here uh, let's try a little bit right in here uh, where these two are kind of meeting like a V and just put throw a little blue in there real quick just come close to your clouds you don't have to uh, touch it although it, it looks cool if you do we'll put some blue in here see that we just kind of created a part of the cloud sky that has some blue in it I still think that's a little too uh, bright blue so I'm gonna get some more white here and maybe just lighten up a little bit of the blue like this there we go there's the color I'm looking for see how light that looks let's uh Let's pick another section down here on this V. Uh, let's just put the blue in here. There we go. That's the color I was looking for right there. You see that? And then just put some blue in here. Just like that. There we go. Much better. Uh, I'll let that dry for a little bit and I'll go over that with this color and just You can uh, go around here and put some blue in now around your sky and Then you have some blue sky in there. There you go. Maybe like right down here uh in the mountain area you can put hints of uh, blue down here this is a fun way to paint see that and I just created some blue around the mountain tops now when you when you do a blue sky you don't want the the blue to be like that too dark so it looks better when it's a light blue to me personally but it all depends on you know what you're going for there we go all right guys that's i'm going to finish this video on that note and uh hopefully you like that it's a good way to make clouds really easy and uh those are cumulus clouds. Cumulus. And I mean, I, I, there's still work to be done on here. I gotta fix the gray up in the corners. See how you can see the lines in there. But that I'm just showing you how to make some cool acrylic clouds. All right. Thanks for watching and cheers.